Good day everyone! Ididiscuss ko ngayon paano nga ba mag-solve ng problem involving simple and compound interest isama na rin natin yung future or maturity value. Okay? So let's begin. Let's have problem number one. Find the interest and the maturity value if you deposited 30,000 pesos at a simple rate at 2%. Given the actual date from August 10, 2020 to January 3, 2021. Okay? So, bago natin i-discuss itong problem, kailangan alam mo yung mga terms na ginagamit dito. So, let's start with the principal amount. So, mahalaga na alam mo yung tinatawag na principal amount or the present amount. This is denoted by letter P. Okay? So, ano ibig sabihin ng principal or present amount? Ito yung original amount. Kung ikaw ay nag-deposit, ibig sabihin ng principal or present amount, ito yung perang dineposit mo, the original na money na i-deposit mo. Nga, kapag ikaw naman ay nangutang, principal or present amount, ito naman yung perang, magkano yung perang inutang mo? So, that is the principal amount. Now, we also have interest. Meron tayong dalawang klase ng interest dito, yung simple and compound interest. So, ibig sabihin ng interest, ito naman yung tubo, di ba? Yung kita, kung ikaw ay nag-deposit sa banko, yung interest, yung tubo ng pera mo. Kapag ikaw naman ay nangutang, Ito yung tubo ng pera mo, dadagdag sa babayaran mo. Okay, so that's the interest. We also have the future or yung tinatawag nating maturity value. So this is denoted by letter F. Okay, so ibig sabihin ng future or maturity value, ito yung original amount plus yung interest. So yung principal amount plus yung interest mo. It's either compound or simple interest. So, lahat-lahat na. No? Kung ikaw ay nangutang, ito yung perang inutang mo at saka yung tubo. So, baga, ito yung babayaran mo lahat. Kung ikaw naman ang nag-deposit, ito yung pera mo na deposit kasama yung tubo ng pera mo. So, lahat-lahat na ito. No? So, yan yung future or maturity value. Now, we also have the term or time Okay, the unit here dapat ay year. Okay, so tandaan yan, term or time dapat ito ay naka-year. Okay, so ito kung gaano naman ito katagal yung pera mo. So kapag ka yan ay month or days, you have to convert that into year. So dapat ang unit mo lagi ay year. Okay, so let's begin answering this problem. Ang pinapahanap sa atin ay interest. Okay? So, is this simple or compound? O, nakalagay dito, simple rate. So, it's simple interest. Now, this is the formula, I, or interest. So, kapagyate ng S sa baba, it means simple interest, is equal to the principal amount times yung rate times yung time. So, you just multiply yung three quantities na ito to find the simple interest. Now, what is the principal amount? Yung original amount a deposit niya. That's 30,000. Okay? Now, yung rate naman niya is 2%. Yung percent, that is the rate. Ito yun. 2%. But remember, you have to convert that to decimal. No? Hindi pwedeng naka-percent yan. Now, pag 2, nandito ang point niyan sa dulo para magawin nating decimal point. I-move natin yan, mag-move tayo ng two decimal places to the left. So, one, two, nandito yung point natin. Okay? Yan, that's 0 0.02. Okay, so kung 3% yan, 0 0.03. Move two decimal places to the left. Then, we have the time. So, ito medyo mahaba ito kasi hindi siya naka-indicate ko ilang years. Ang naka-indicate dito from August 10, 2020 to January 3, 2021. So, we need to find 
kung ilang days ito at ang sinabi niya actual date. No? Kung approximate date ang sinabi, we approximate ng bawat, di, uh, bawat month ay 30 days pero sabi niya actual. So, medyo mahabang pa ang proseso natin. So, sa August, uh, ilang araw, no? Sa August, so kung August 11, isang araw na ang pera niya sa bangko, August 12, dalawang araw na yon August 13, pangatlong araw. So, para mas mabilis, uh, ilang araw ba meron sa August 2020, there are 31 days. So, 31 minus 10, 21 days. So, yung pera niya sa loob ng uh, buwan ng August ay 21 days na. Okay? Then, September, ilan yung actual date ng September? We have 30. Then, October, we have 31. November, we have 30. December, we have 31. Then, January 2021, ilang araw lang? 3, no? Hanggang January 3 lang. Okay, so ilang days lahat yan? That's 146. That's 146 days. Okay, now remember, sabi ko kanina, yung time or term, dapat nakakonvert siya sa year, hindi siya day or month. So we have 146, kailangan natin i-divide yan sa 365 para maging year kasi there are 365 days sa one year. So that's equal to 0.5. For year. Okay? So, yung 146 days is equal to 0.4 year. Okay. So, yung unit natin ngayon ay nasa year na. Okay? So, let's erase this one. So, mas madali siya kung ang naka-indicate sa problem ay, let's say, 5 years, 2 years, automatic, lagay mo na dito yan. Pero ito kasi, no? hindi siya naka-indicate yung ilang years. So, we need to find the number of days then convert to years. Then, next, we have to substitute in our formula to find the interest, the simple interest. Ilan yung principal amount, yung original amount, that's 30,000 times ilan yung rate natin, that's 0.02. Then, yung time, so naka-year dapat yan, that's 0.4. Then, we have to multiply yan, yung tatlong quantities. The answer is 240 pesos. So, ito yung interest, yung tubo niya ng kanyang pera. 240 pesos. So, we are done with the simple interest. Next, the maturity value or the future value. Now, to find the future value, sabi natin kanina, yung future value, ito yung principal amount plus yung interest mo. ba diba? So, yan lahat ng pera mo sa banko. So, we have, eh, magkano yung principal amount mo? That's 30,000 plus magkano ang tubo mo, yung interest? That's 240. So, what's 30,000 plus 240? That is... Uh, 30,240 pesos. So, this is now the future value. Okay? So, that's how to solve the future value and simple interest. How about if we have this kind of problem, find the maturity value or the future value and a compound interest if 15,000 pesos is compounded annually at an interest rate of 2% in 5 years. So, remember, compounded annually. So, compound interest. So, we need to find first yung maturity value, yung F. Now, kapag compound interest, ito yung formula sa future value. P times 1 plus R raised to T. Okay? So, yan ang paggawa ng future or maturity value sa compound interest. What is the original amount? That's 15,000 pesos. What is our rate? That's 2%. Or again, that's 0.02. 
Then, yung time natin, so ito madali lang kasi naka-indicate na siya na 5 years. At saka na, naka, yung unit niya ay naka-year. So, that's 5. Then, we have to substitute in our formula. What is our P? That is 15,000 times 1. Fix yung 1 dyan, no? That's constant. What is our R? That's 0 0.02. Then, yung time natin is 5. Okay. So, unahin muna natin sa PEMDAS, no? Dapat mauna muna yung parenthesis. So, we have 15,000. So, we have to simplify yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. 1 plus 0, 1 plus 0 0.02. That's 1.02 raised to 5. Then, okay. Huwag ka munang mag-multiply sa PEMDAS ulit. Nauna yung exponent. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon ay 1.02 raised to the power of 5 or 1.02 times 1.02 times 1.02. So, if that times mo yung 1.02 limang beses. Okay? So, the answer there is 1.104. Then, you have to multiply now. That's 16,000. 561.21 pesos. Okay? So, this is the future value. Yan. So, ibig sabihin, kasama na, or kasama na dito yung principal tsaka yung interest niya. So, okay na tayo sa maturity or the future value. Next, we need to find a compound interest. Now, ito yung formula uh, ng compound. Since meron na tayong future value at meron tayong principal, magkano ang tubo niya? Paano natin isosolve yung tubo, yung interest niya? E di yung future value minus yung principal amount. ba? So, yung pera niya lahat, babawasan mo ng principal amount. Para makuha natin, magkano nga ba ang tinubo niya? So, what is our F? That's 16,561.21 minus magkano ang principal amount? That's 15,000. So, what is now our interest? The compound interest. So, subtract mo lang yan. That is 1,561.21 pesos. Okay? So, this is now our compound interest. Okay? So, I hope na intindihan paano magkuha ng simple compound and the future or maturity value. Thank you for watching.